Okay, so I went ahead and created a new project inside of Logic Pro X, and I've got this track selected right here. I need to set an input source, so I'm going to do that. Check, check, check. Input gain levels are coming in around negative 12. That's great. And so I'm now going to record enable, do a quick test. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro X. So this will be the end of the test. Bye. Okay, so now that I've got this going, take a listen back and see how it sounds. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro X. So this will be the end of the test. Bye. It sounds pretty good. It sounds like, it sounds really good. I love this microphone. The levels are good. All in all, there's not too much I'd have to do to it to ship it, but there are a few things that I can do to enhance it a little bit. So first, I'll go ahead and click on here to insert a plugin. I'm going to actually hold down Option and get one of the legacy plugins. You have to hold down Option to get to the legacy menu. I'm going to choose Speech Enhancer. And what this does is remove some of the background noise. It's got this little denoise feature. And if you set it at right at about negative 40 dB, it does a really great job of just pulling some of the room sound, uh, some of the line noise out of a track. You don't want to go much higher than negative 40 because it can start to make your track sound weird. So let's see if you can hear a difference with this on or off. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process Super it. Super subtle, but I always start by removing some of the background noise if it's noticeable. Okay, next, I'm going to do some EQ. And I know after listening to this mic for a while that my voice is a little bit boomy between about 220 and about 400 hertz. So I'm going to turn on the analyzer and play this back. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro X. So this will be the end of the test. Okay, sounds really good. I'm also going to do a high pass filter to cut off some of the bass frequencies below about 90 hertz. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro X. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad though. Okay, after that, I'm going to do some compression. This would just limit the dynamics a little bit. Dynamics, as you can see, they're pretty consistent. There's not a, a huge variety. That comes back to mic control. Okay, so for the compressor, I'm going to set the threshold around negative three. Let's see, change the this to a peak compressor, so it means it will only compress the loudest peaks of the audio. And then I'm going to set the ratio to two to one because I'm probably not going to have too many peaks hitting that, but just in case. And then I'll add a dB, turn auto gain off, uh, leave release at about 50 milliseconds, or auto actually, auto's great. Six milliseconds, yeah, kind of a soft knee. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro So X. you can tell that it's just doing a little tiny bit of compression here, and that's what I want. Okay, after the compressor, let's see. I might throw a DS around there, even though I don't hear a lot of sharp S's. Sometimes S's can be a problem, usually around 5,000 hertz. So we drop this down to 5,000, put the strength to relatively low, let's say four decibels. Sensitivity is 50% is fine, let's see. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro X. Cool, just in case. And then finally, I'm gonna finish out this track with a limiter. So an adaptive limiter from Dynamics. And this will just make sure that the output, because it, the audio runs through this track 
from the top of the, the plugin stack to the bottom. So it goes one at a time, one, two, three, four, five. And then after the last plugin, you can control the volume right here, but it gets sent to the master track. And that's what people will hear once you bounce out the track. So in this case, I generally for MP3 set the output ceiling to about negative uh, 0.8. And then I do a few dB of additional gain. One way you can check is that, well, let me see right here. Add a metering, a loudness meter. And the common standard for podcast is negative 16 LUFS. So if you set this up right here and you start playing your track back. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro X. So this will be the end of the test. Bye. You can either add some additional gain with your adaptive limiter or you can do just a little bit more compression, a little bit more makeup gain on the compressor. So this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record. And I generally don't stress too much about getting this, uh, this level right here to negative 16. If I'm somewhere in the ballpark, say negative 18, and you can see that. Quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second. If you're in the ballpark 16, 17, 18, you're in good shape. So that's pretty much it. Next step is just to bounce. If you want to bounce in stereo, all you have to do is hit Command A, click on the region. Command A will select all regions if you have more than just this one. And then Command B, and you get a bounce dialog right here. So you can choose your bit rate. 128 stereo is great. If you're going to do it in mono, 96 is fine. Normalize on. Uh, if you want to do it in mono, we'll just go over that real quick. You just stare, change your... Um, Change your stereo output track to mono by clicking on this little button right here. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah. So if you hit X and open up your mixer window, then you can actually see that. Click on one of these guys. Let's see, you got to grab this endpoint right here and drag it over because it's going to bounce what's between the starting point and the endpoint right here. And then you hit bounce 96 kilobytes per second. Okay, anyways, let's turn these off and listen to the difference here. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro X. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw. It sounds a little hot. I would actually turn the gain down just a little bit. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. Just wanted to record myself talking for a second so I could demonstrate what this sounds like raw and then how I process it in Logic Pro X. So this will be the end of the test. Okay, so this is a quick test of my Shure Beta 87A microphone. All right, so I'm pretty happy with it.